I'm your host, Jeff Zart. We're going to take you behind the scenes with the craft distillers who are pouring their heart and soul into crafting the next version of America's Spirit. This is the Great American Whiskey Cookers. Welcome to Wisconsin. We're here in Baraboo, the wintering place of Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus. But for our purposes, we're talking about Driftless Glen Distillery. We're gonna talk about their rise, their bourbons, and their whiskeys. This is the Great American Whiskey Cooker. You installed the still, you put it in. Have you had the same distiller, master distiller the entire time? Nope. So you've switched distillers? Yes, um, so Dave Pickerel gave us the original formulas. Okay. Mash bills and we've tweaked them since then. Um, we hired a distiller. Um, Nathan was always here working, the fellow you're gonna meet, our master distiller or head distiller. Okay. Um, he has been here from the start, but he was not the head distiller. He okay. worked under two other people. Um, we had a, a fellow that was here for about two years, um, and then we had a fellow who was here about three months. <laughs> Maybe, it's all I could take of him. Um, I'm getting a sense that you read people pretty quick. Oh, and then, and and then he, when we got rid of him, we said to Nathan, "You already know everything. Why don't you do it?" And he's like, "But I don't know that I know." I go, okay, well, you can go to any class you want. So there was a there was a big um, classroom or whatever it is, a distillers deal up in in Denver. And I was like, "Why don't you go?" And I said, you're going to know two things. A, you're either going to learn a lot, mm -hmm. or B, you're going to learn that you already know it. Yep. So there's no fault in going. So he went and he came back and he says, yeah, I learned a little bit, but I think I really know it. And he's been doing it since. Yep. And he's great. He's amazing. He's really wonderful. My name is uh, Nathan Mahensky. I am the head distiller here at Driftless Plant. Um, I am basically half of the production team back here. So we've got me and Sebastian here today. So you can see we're standing over here by my control panel here. I've got a lot of monitoring um, and we're running full production today. Uh, bourbon mash for us is a little bit over 6,000 pounds of grain altogether. We're running uh, 2,600 to 3,000 gallon batches. That is being cooked every single day, fermented for four to six days in one of our 2,600 gallon fermenters and then distilled. So what I'm doing right now, we've got our uh, 5,000 gallon beer well uh, filled with one of those uh, fermentations. I am pumping from the bottom of this up to the top of our 44 foot column still. Uh, we have a uh, 44 foot 18 inch diameter column still, as well as a 500 gallon pot still. Um, I am pushing 2,600 gallons through this column still in a little over eight hours. So in a traditional, you know, if we were just hot, you know, distilling in a pot, it, it would take me an entire week to distill this in a pot still, whereas right. in a column still, I mean, that's why we're using this, it's efficient. Um, what I wind up with is something like 500 gallons at between 120 and 140 fruit off of this column still i can then refine that in our 500 gallon pot still and this is where we would be making our heads hearts and tails cuts the vast majority of my job is um standing in this area and i've got a lot of monitoring here uh no. temperatures all that i see you keep looking up here yeah what are you looking for so I'm just keeping an eye on, and I'm gonna, um, you'll see me uh, running up and down, you know, this stairwell throughout the day as well. Uh, I'm just right now looking at my hydrometer up there. Um, I've got the spirit safe uh, with the hydrometer floating in that parent, and I can kind of tell my flow, my fruit, uh, that along with what I'm seeing here, and then just visually inspecting the column still is giving me a good idea of where everything's at. 